Hey, welcome back to this mini lecture on helping kids cope with part hardships, part one, introduction to support. Um, in terms of an introduction, children are not immune to hardship. Uh, how they uh, deal with hardship when they're children shapes how a child will handle life's challenges later on. Uh, guardians can definitely support children. Um, they are integral to developing their uh, coping strategies. Guardians equip children with coping tools that match their unique needs in the ideal sense. Uh, coping may be much more difficult depending on the formative stage of development that the hardships occur, any life experiences the child have has, and their social emotional learning and understanding. You, you want to have different focal areas for supporting children. You may want to focus on them um, processing their emotions, uh, ways to release their emotions in a healthy way, ways to discover effective calming techniques, and increase your self-confidence and self-assurance despite these hardships. There are multiple approaches to coping. Uh, multiple strategies over time that reach focal areas can lead to long-term self-driven coping, which is, which is again an ideal uh, um, goal. Strategies could lead to better understanding of strengths and self-preference in which one best, one best processes and moves forward. Uh, an exploratory sampling of strategies can increase uh, the child's self-esteem and overall resilience, which are good things. Uh, you want to present uh, strategies for coping in a practical manner. You want to provide time for strategies to be learned. You want to mold strategies to your child's unique style. You want to use the approaches consistently. You want to give time to for the child to reflect on the effectiveness and as well as you, if you're a guardian, helping out. And as well, you want to teach new strategies in a staggered manner so you're not overwhelming your child. So points to remember from all of this, patience is important. Take your time to explore coping strategies. Empowerment's a key. Allow the child to set the pace, tone, and outcome of the process to empower them. Don't be judgmental. Avoid forced discussions, time frames, or expectations in a child healing from their hardship. Guidance is important. Give directives rather than directions. Be open-ended. Remind them that there's no such thing as right or wrong in the process. And six, reflection. Allow them space and time for quiet reflection. Uh, in terms of conclusions, children face hardships in their lives. Uh, there are various steps for child support. Processing emotions, releasing emotions in a healthy way, and finding calming techniques. And finally, coping strategies strategies can give kids tools to overcome current and future difficulties. That was helping kids cope with hardships, part one, introduction to support. Thanks for watching. I uh, look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.